Hi, <laughs> welcome back to Lead With Love. I'm still on the topic of light body. <clears throat> this is the second article. Is light body practice first stages? It's an article. It's from Buddhist Door Global. This is known all over the world. It is free. It's free information. So there are people that charge you, that charge you for this knowledge, and this knowledge is free. Like if you sit there and you go online, you find this knowledge, and it's free for you. And there. It's given by known doctors, psychologists, known spiritualists, and it's information that you would want people to know. Like, why charge them this information? Like, you want them to know this information. So it's online and it is free. You don't have to sign up for anything. But I'm going to go in. The Buddhist Door website, Buddhist Door Global website, it's it features home meditation and buddhist practice light body practice the first stages that's what i'm going to go into is by asa hershoff she wrote this september 8th of 2020 so it's not that it's not that long ago so let's go we have spoken about the biophysical and conceptual aspects of the rainbow body formation from various angles the rainbow body so and then that would be something because i i remember we were I, well, I was talking about the indigo the crystal and the star seeds but let me go go back to this how do we proceed in the actual process of course the whole of the Vajrayana moves in this direction, but certain crucial pieces are missing from the description and application of tantric methods. This may explain why, after some 50 years of Dharma centers and initiations, deity practices, and long term retreats, Western students are not dissolving into evescent. Evescent, evescent, <laughs> evescent rainbows at any great rate. I believe that the chief reason for the this failing is a lack of attention to the very matrix of transformation, the very fuel that makes all promises of Tibetan Buddhism possible. Energy awareness and energy manipulation. That happens a lot because people manipulate energy and they you know there's so many false prophets out there and they tell you that they're gonna do this and they're gonna do that you're gonna be more spiritual you're gonna be more awakened this is gonna help you like this is gonna help you and they, they're telling you this and they're charging you all this money and it's not helping people like people are not getting better they're not growing they're not healing they're not evolving and then it's like why like this is what you're supposed to do and why aren't the people getting better and it's energy awareness and energy manipulation like people are getting tricked and people are getting tricked missing sense while we talk about the five senses uh, or a psychic sixth sense the science <laughs> tells us they are really 10 sense fields so there's 10 senses there is yet another that is crucial to our spiritual development I call this the energy sense or simply energy awareness because I always say that like energy is everything and you have to pay attention because nobody's going to tell you nothing. They're going to just watch you but won't tell you nothing. It is indeed a strange artifact of the human condition that although we use this sense constantly, probably second to sight, it usually lies below the level of consciousness awareness. It functions in the background but remains unconscious until we decide to make ourselves aware of its presence. So th is this the third eye? Condition through the, the, only the second sight. Okay. We are energy beings. Everything is energy. That's what is. <laughs> everything is energy. Living in an energy world. Ancient wisdom and modern physics both describe the sea of quantum energy in which we exist. And our body is composed of oscillating fields within 
within a we have a sensory ability to perceive these energies so it's like you can sense them and you know <clears throat> dharma they have a dharma mission dharma is good karma so all the good that you do in this world it comes back to you as blessings as good karma because everybody you get karma you have bad karma and you have good karma the good karma is called dharma when we walk into a room we meet a new person catch up with an old friend going into any public space we have an immediate sense of the vibes you feel the vibes that are going on this is quite apart from the visual or verbal cues past experience inference 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 okay inference 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 <laughs> neurological processing or any other concept that dogma bound reductionist science may have told you your energetic awareness is giving you information because energy and information are inseparable energy <clears throat> energy and information is are inseparable okay let's see about another person's feelings the negative energy in a particular store or restaurant or even about the quality of food you choose in the supermarket Bringing this natural sensing ability into conscious pur purview is not only essential, but it but enriches life in the broadest possible way. Enhancing your life with a whole new sensory capacity is like gaining a different set of eyes. And for that alone, it is worth the effort. But beyond the mundane, it is essential to making any spiritual path work, be it Buddhist Shavite, Kabbalistic, Gnostic, or what have you. Let's see how energy awareness can be enlived and brought back online from its latent unconscious position. <clears throat> so it, it talks about the body because everything, it talks about the body, it talks about meditation, it talks about how to be one, like one with yourself and to be discerning because energy is everything and you have to learn or be able be able to read the vibes and sense it you can sense it of people places you go to everything that you think is nothing but you have to be able to tell what is going on like once they start talking like you already know like what's up and how it's gonna go that's being aware. That's your like your third eye. And then, okay, that's immediate sense of the vibes. That's like reading you reading a room. Like when you get there, let's see how energy awareness can be enlived and brought back online from its Latin unconscious. Okay, because now it's talking about the body. You can't even see it there, but. It's talking about the body, so let's go. close, but not quite. <laughs> Although the practice we're about to describe may seem similar to progressive relaxation, it's only superficial resemblance. Progressive muscular re relaxation, PMR, establishes itself as a recognized therapeutic tool way back in 1929. Wow. Progressive Muscular Relaxation, PMR, with Dr. Edmund Jacobson's book of the name. While this is certainly a useful and beneficial mythology and is perfect for falling asleep, to go to sleep to this, the end goal is quite different. Also within this word, Varjrana, Varjrayana, Var, Va, this word, like, <clears throat> I wish I had it and then they would say it out loud and then when they say it out loud then I could repeat it because I don't I can't pronounce it Varjrayana Var is V-A-J-R-A-Y-A-N-A -A -A. also within Varjrayana 
I'm going to look it up. Experiencing or visualizing the body as an empty balloon, spacious and open. It is important, preliminary, similarly. At, in deity practice, we see ourselves as a tent of gossamer light rather than a solid entity. But other than this straightforward dictum, no details are given, and it may not be so simple to directly experience one entire form as open dimension. What we're about to describe could be a way to make things much easier. I hope so, because they're using all these big words. Like, I'm going to have to Google this. <laughs> Google these words, because I'm like, oh my God. But it talks a lot about science. It talks about the science of it. Activating awareness, laying the foundation. Okay, I'm gonna just go into the bullets because it goes a lot into science, like the science of it. And because people don't normally listen to the spiritual side. <clears throat> so you have to, so then they're, they're telling you the science. There's a science to it. Body awareness, awareness. Energy, the missing link, the process. Starting with the feet, we sense this part of our anatomy in a gentle but focused way. Progressively, well, anatomy is your body. Your body anatomy, the way your body is built, the set up, everything. So it starts with the feet. Progressively, we move up the body area by area finally reaching the head and face so the face is the last part that it focuses on first it starts at the feet how detailed and and thorough you make this process depends on yourself the best plan is usually to start in a more generalized way feet ankles lower legs knees thighs and so on after a while it is good to do both sides individually right foot left foot right ankle left ankle the fun really begins when we become more and more detailed oriented which requires a course a better sensing and focusing ability this comes naturally with practice so this is more precise way we sense the sole of the right foot the sole that's the bottom of your foot is your sole the top of the right foot, then the top of the left, and so on upward. We are trying to feel inside that area, or the entire part, not just like the skin or the outer surface. As it feels right, we can begin to explore the deeper recesses of the body, for it seems essential to orientation of the physical heart, and so on. It is fascinating to focus on these areas of the brain, frontal lobes, lower brain, and to become a conversant in neural anatomy as you wish. Like this has a lot to do with, <laughs> with the science of it. It goes into, I'm not gonna go into it because it's all about science. It tells you everything. Your inner wisdom is activating awareness, laying the foundation and everything okay so this this article was the buddhist global light body practices what other practices this is something that you could practice on your own and it's like meditation i'm not going to go too much into this because it take this takes time like this is not going to I say you're not gonna get better in a day no like this is something you have to do this consistently all the time so that you can be a better person okay the link will be in the description box I will include it there leave with love always leave with love and thanks for watching I'm sorry about the noise bye